as we have done too much conceptually in WCS services, but we haven't created a single services yet. So in this video, we are going to create the first sample WCF service. So along with that, we will cover the number of attributes such as contracts, which will be required for creating the WCF service. So let's get started with the implementation of the first WCF services now. To start the implementation for creating the WCF services, first of all, I'll open the Visual Studio and here I'll come to File, New Project and to take a raw start for the WCF service, I will go for the class library. So as soon as you get this particular window, I'll choose C Sharp as my programming language and from here, I will go for the class library. Like here, I have chosen the class library. Now I'll put the name here like sample WCF service. All right, so this is the name of my class library, which will be created in this particular location. Just say OK. And this class library is now created. Before getting started with the coding, what I'll do first is to add a reference which is mandatory for working with WCF, which is system.servicemodel. So for that, I'll right click over references, we'll come to add reference. And here in the framework, I'll search for the system.servicemodel. So like here it is, I'll just select this and we'll say OK. So as soon as I'll do that, you can see system.servicemodel has been added and I will include that in my code like system.servicemodel. All right. Now, what I'll have to do to make the contract first, I'll again come to Solution Explorer, we'll right click over my project and we'll say add new item. And now here from the list, I'll go for the interface with the name iUser dot CS of course. So let's click on add. And now actually what I'll do, I'll just say using system dot service model. Basically, this is the class. This is the uh, code where I will use the service model, not exactly in this class, but I'll use the namespace system dot service model in the interface. So as we have already discussed about the different contracts here, by the time I'll start working with the interface, I will add the attribute called service contract. And this particular attribute will ensure that this interface is going to give the structure to your WCF service. And this interface itself will provide you the methods which will be given by any WCF service. And as I'm going to use this interface outside the scope, outside this particular project, so I will have to make it public as well. So it's public interface I user. And now inside this, I will put some signatures of the method that is the prototype of the method. So I'll take a couple of methods here like string welcome user I'll take the username in the parameter and boolean authenticate user to authenticate a user I'll take username and password all right so you can create as many as methods you want but these are the two methods I want to provide to the user. Since I want these methods to expose to the user while they are consuming the service, I will decorate them with the operation contract. So you will have to put operation contract attribute for both the methods or for all the methods which you want to provide. You can again give some declaration of the methods which you don't want to provide to the user as a service. So you will not put operation contract attribute over those particular methods. For now, I just want these two methods itself. So I have added them. 
Now I already have a class, so I'll just rename that as per mine requirement. User, it will ask like, should I rename class one to user? I'll say yes. So now it's user class, and here I will implement the I user interface. So to implement that, what I'll have to do is I'll implement the interface. So both the definitions are here now. All right, I'll give my customized definition. So if username is equal equal to WCF, I'm just taking any hard coded. You can obviously use any particular code such as any AD dotted code or link or entity framework code right here to get the users or password from the database. But here I'm not focusing on the code of database connectivity, rather I'm focusing on the WCF service. So I'm just taking any hard coded data. So password is equal to tutorials. So if username is WCF, password is tutorials, I will just say return true. This is the valid set of users. And if user is not entering these two things, then I'll say it is not an authenticated user. I'll return a false. So now when the user will be done with the authentication, we'll have to welcome him. And for that, what I'll have to do, I'll return a string. For that, I'll use return welcome and then whatever the username is there. So these are some dummy methods itself just to show you the functionality of WCF rather than the functionality of these particular methods. So this is how using this uh, attribute like service contract and operation contract, you can just give a structure to a service where this I user interface will give the structure and these will give some functionality to the service and these methods are defined inside this user class which is implementing this I user interface. Particularly, I haven't used this service model namespace, so if you want, you can obviously remove it from here. So now, this particular service creation is done. In our coming videos, I'll show you how to deploy this particular service in the various ways.